Good morning or good afternoon and welcome to another computer science tutorial in which we'll talk about the uh, ternary operator assignment. I'm going to go step by step on that program. All right. So let's get to it. So right here I have the instructions listed out. Um, basically um, we're going to have the option of adding or subtracting two integers that the user can input and then we're gonna find if the result is an even or odd number. Now, let's create the variables for the first and second number. We're gonna go step by step with these instructions. And I made a typo right here. There we go, without a capital letter, that's better. So let's create integers for two numbers, which would be num1 and num2. We're also gonna create another one for result. There we go. So now we have the first part done. Create variables for the first second number, create another integer for result, and then create a string variable for named operation, which will save the user's answer to the following question. Do you, if he wants to or if he or she wants to add or subtract two whole numbers. That's the question. So let's go ahead and put um, string operation. And we're gonna ask the user. Do you wish to, I'm going to put a single quotation marks right here. That's to point out or highlight the fact that I wish uh, for the user to enter the words just like they are right here in this sentence. All right? Do you wish to add or subtract and then the question mark right here. So now we need to have an input for the user. So how are we going to do that? Just like we did in the previous assignment, we're going to go ahead and import the library for Java. Java util.scanner, capital S. And now, since we have access to the library in which contains the scanner class, we can go ahead and create a new object called, a uh, new scanner object called user input. Because it's something very, oh my god, there we go. So because it's something very, um, how do you say, very recognizable, easy to, to remember. So we have the scanner user input, which is a new scanner. And inside the parenthesis, what function are we going to be using this for? Well, for input. So let's put system.in. And then semicolon in the end. We're good up to now. Now, operation, the variable operation is going to be equal to whatever the user inputs as an answer to the question do you wish to add or subtract so let's go ahead and say um, operation will be equal to user input the whatever the user input scanner scans in the next line like that alright that's for text now we can start having an if and else Let's see if that's true right here. It says that the user input the answer. We have that. We're over here now. Print out. You've selected addition or you've selected subtraction. Of course, this has to be depending on what the user input. So let's go over here and put if. Remember, just like we did in the previous program, whenever you're find the, finding the equality of a string, you need to use the following. Call out the variable, the string variable, dot equals, the equals method, and then inside the parenthesis, you can establish what piece of text do you want to look for equality for, all right? So right here, we're going to put add. Let's open the brackets, and we have our if. So if operations equal, if our variable operation equals add, we're going to say you've selected addition of two whole numbers or something like that. Now, else if it's if it's not add, if it's subtraction, then we need to say you've selected subtraction, right? So let's go ahead and say else if, whippa, else if, 
and in the parenthesis we're going to copy this and simply equal it to something else operation dot equals subtraction there we go now we have it so remember copy paste is an awesome tool to ex to improve your time coding and also to reduce the amount of words and lines that you write so it helps out a lot now um, we have operation equals subtraction and let's just copy this line right here I'm gonna put it right here and instead of addition it's subtraction there you go well, there we go now we have the the option of writing out uh, displaying addition or subtraction so we have this part as well this part if the user wants addition then ask for the two whole numbers result will be equal to their ad addition and then display the result alright so we need to ask for the two numbers to fill out num1 and num2 so we can add them together so let's go ahead and ask please enter or first number two dots then we're gonna put the num1 will be equal to whatever the user inputs in the next line right so user input dot next int in this case because we're talking about integers that we want to add and use numerically now we're going to do the same thing for the second number so let's just copy paste that and we have system operand line display the second number then instead of num1 because we're already storing a value in num1 we're going to store it in num2 user input next int we're good now we have both values the one for the first number and the second number now what we have to do with them is now what we have to do with them would be to show the result but how can we show the result we need to make the calculation first right so we're gonna say that result equals what num1 plus num2 and there we have the equation now over here we're gonna use concatenation to display this equation in a pretty way so let's go ahead and put num1 plus the plus symbol we're gonna concatenate it with the plus symbol saying the first number added with the second number is going to equal concatenation with equal sign right here plus result it's going to equal its result now let's see if that works let's go ahead and play it I'm opening it up there we go do you wish to add or subtract well I wish to add and you selected addition of two whole numbers awesome five enter and then two that would be seven right so there we go. Five plus two equals seven. But the thing is, we still don't have the the subtraction operation or the one that tells us if it's an uh, even or odd number. So let let's go ahead and do the one for subtraction. And guess what? The, here's my tip. Everything you did for the addition operation is the same thing that you're going to be doing for subtraction. So go ahead and copy that, and you can paste it right about here. Um, something I didn't mention out before um, would be that you guys can uh, find other shorter ways of doing this program actually uh, I'm doing it this way even though it's longer because the logic of it all is more explicit so we ask for each number and we have each section doing everything separately but you could do that this whole thing in another more more short way all right so now we have subtraction right here but we need to change that result will not equal the addition of num1 and num2 but it's subtraction and right here we're gonna replace the plus symbol with a subtract uh, minus sign and we're good and up to now this is what we have we're over here we just finished this one and now if the user uh, if the user's answer was not addition or subtraction print out error please choose between addition or subtraction so let's go ahead and put else because if it's neither of the ones that we already mentioned before then we're gonna print this out error please choose 
between I'm going to use the single quotation marks again just because of preference or subtraction oops pressed click somewhere else with a mouse pad there we go subtraction and then restart the program because we haven't talked about loops yet now we have that perfect so now the last thing remaining would be using ternary operators da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. so what would happen let, let's run this real quick what would happen if we uh, have an input instead of subtract subtract or add we put um addition because that's not one of the options that we have listed out we could use and or operators to do that so addition error please choose between add or subtract so I need to change this but restart the program there we go alright so over here subtract Ta -da. now we're good and right here subtract do you wish to add or subtract? Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's very important. So right here I'm telling the user it has to be subtract, but over here I had subtraction. So I was never gonna get the, the correct um, uh, answer because I'm looking for the wrong one. Now, I already changed it, everything's good. Now let's do the last part. It says here using a ternary operator to print out result x or 5 or whichever number is the result is an even number or the result x is an odd number depending on the value right so to find if a number is even it needs to have a remainder of 0 whenever it's divided by 2 so let's go ahead and so 4 divided by 2 has a remainder of 0 that means it's an even number that's an example right so let's go over here and we have many ways to go about this we can make a short if and else right here and do that but we're going to use a ternary operator because that's the purpose of this assignment now we could create a, sh a variable to do this or we could just system print a uh, system of print right so we're just gonna display it because we're not gonna reuse this this is the end of the program we don't need to store it anywhere so let's go ahead and put result when divide when divided by 2 has a remainder of 0 if that is true let's put the question mark now if that is true then we will print the result and then we put the number of the result is an even number and if it's not true let's put those two dots right there if it's not true I'm gonna put the same thing right here but is an odd number instead of even so odd now there we go and there we go perfect so if you try and run it you're gonna get an error go ahead try it run it and here it says that error 49 29 line 49 Java variable result might not have been initialized. So result apparently has not been initialized. But why? Wait, we already did it right here. So yeah, we declared what type it was, but we didn't assign a value to it. And since it's asking to use it down there, and there's a possibility or a chance that the that result has is equal to nothing even at the end, we have to assign a value to it. All right. So let's put zero for now and now it should work see so let's go ahead and oh my god let's go ahead and run it Ta -da! do you wish to add or subtract let's say subtract because we already tried um, add you selected subtraction of two whole numbers the first number will be uh, 4 and the second will be 3 so we have a result of 1 and the result one is actually an odd number. You see? Ta da! If it were two, it would say the result two is an even number. So there we go. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below or send me an email through Outlook. Alright. Thank you and have a nice week.